Hi. Now, if you've been watching other videos in my series on McLaurin series, then I showed you how we derived series expansions for e to the power x, sine x, cos x, and the natural log of 1 plus x. And what I want to do in this video is extend that work, show you how we can derive further series based on these functions. And first of all then, what we'll do is we'll take a look, say, at e to the power minus 2x. All we need to do is just replace the x in e to the x with minus 2x, so that we find that our series becomes 1 plus, and instead of that x then, it is minus 2x, and then plus all of minus 2x squared over 2 factorial. And then the next term would be plus minus 2x all cubed all over 3 factorial, and so on. And if we work this out, this is going to be identical to 1 minus 2x plus 2x squared minus 4x all cubed over 3, and so on. And because e to the x was valid for all values of x, then e to the minus 2x will be valid for all values of x. Now we've got to take special care when it comes to, say, natural log ones, especially when it comes to the validity. I'll show you how that works. Let's suppose then we've got to expand the natural log of, say, 1 plus 3x. Well, in this example, we're replacing the x with 3x. So all I've got then is 3x for the first term here, and then minus 3x all squared over 2, and then plus 3x all cubed over 3. And if we tidy this up, it will carry on as well, by the way, but if we tidy this up, we're going to get 3x then minus 9x squared over 2 plus 9x cubed. And that's going to carry on. Now, if we're asked to say what is it valid for, then for something like this, instead of having x between minus 1 and less than or equal to 1, we're dealing with 3x that is greater than minus 1 but less than or equal to 1. So when we divide both sides by 3, we see that it's valid for x greater than minus a third, but less than or equal to a third. Now, I just want to do a couple more examples. In fact, you might like to even try this one yourself, the natural log of 1 minus x. I'm going to take the natural log of 1 minus x, see if you could expand that. And then afterwards, what about trying this one, the natural log of 1 plus x, all divided by 1 minus x. Okay, And in each example, state what range of values it's identical to. Take it up just a few terms, OK, to see how you get on. So just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through those solutions for you. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Well, for the first one anyway, we're just replacing the x then with minus x. So we're going to have minus x and then minus minus x all squared over 2, and then we'll just do one more term, minus x all cubed over 3. And it's going to carry on like that, so what we end up with is that it's minus x minus x squared over 2, and then minus x cubed over 3, and so on. And what would it be valid for? Well, we could be careful here, because it's not quite the same as this one. Because if x equaled 1, then we've got the natural log of 0, which we can't have. It's undefined. 
but we can have negative 1. So this is valid for x greater than or equal to minus 1, but less than 1. Now, what about this one here? How are we going to handle this? Well, what we do is we change this to the natural log of 1 plus x, and then minus the natural log of 1 minus x. And we've got our expansions now. The natural log of 1 plus x is up here, and the natural log of 1 minus x is here. So I've just got to subtract one series from the other. So if we do that, we've got x minus minus x. That's going to be 2x. And then these two terms, the x squared terms, are going to cancel one another out. And here you'll have x cubed upon 3 minus minus another x cubed upon 3. So there's going to be two of them. In fact, you're going to keep getting twice the odd powers. Okay, So the next one will be plus 2x to the power 5 over 5, and so on. OK, now what would this one be valid for? Well, we've got to be careful here because it's got to be valid for not only this series, but this one as well. And we've got the two sets of ranges that x can be between for each one, but if it's to hold simultaneously, then x has got to be between minus 1 and 1. OK, so it can't include the ones, the 1 or the minus 1. All right, so let's give you an idea then on how we can use particular expansions to derive further ones. All right.